he is not afraid to have his say. He is forthright, he is knowledgeable, and he has an enduring love for the sport of horse racing. He claims to be one of the better grooms at the park, and is a self-proclaimed statistician. He is groom Claude Wilberforce Thompson. He shares his lifetime narrative with QuickGallop.com, and its YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Speaking with groom, Mr. Claude Wilberforce Thompson, the man, man popularly, popularly called Candyman. The, the Candyman. Yes, Good morning, sir. How are you? Top of the world, top of the morning. This is Crimson. First of all, um, I've got to tell you where I started my career. All right. As, as a um, Clarendonian country boy, I mean, yes, primary. I like racing. What inspired me, it was the commentary of David Vernon. I don't know if he's still alive. You know, that was one of the commentator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really like the game. And as a short man, a lot of guys that, um, 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 Danny B. Well, Danny B, I mean, in yeah, Maraj. No, Logan. Lo Logan, but Logan. his uncle used to own Cambrian and Omdinger. Yes. Okay, as a, as a Clarendon man. Yes. And so I went to him, I, I got, yeah, I get consent um, from the parents for him to take me to the truck. But it never really materialized. So I took the bus with my bag and thing. I started off with a, a, a small trainer. I didn't even have Leslie Blake, that done the passage for it. He used to train for the late Edie Williams, Ballygrand, and I asked by the name of Supremus Boy, and I asked by the name of Adios Arriba. Those two horses were the first um, three horses I get on as, a, as a youngster. Well, it was slow, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? You don't have an income, you know what I mean? And I get on a couple of horses, um, K Garden, we used to get up what we call Kianta. Yeah, you know, you start from the early stage, jogging, then you go on to that. And you talk well, about grandpa. Grandpa, yeah. So I decided, say, you know, I want to go in the limelight where the big guys are. And leave out one morning come to the paddock. As soon as uh, I was um, approaching the Azali barn, I go by the name of Feather. I said, Prentice, come here. You're looking at stable. I said, oh, yeah, sure, sir. I said, come over here, sir, man. And I went over. And um, Jeline, as apprentice, um, start to walk up, get on top of horses, volunteering a variety of things. Because learning as apprentice them time, the apprenticeship, you, you, have, you, have, you, have, you, have, you can look out for us, walk up, get the place skin, etc., etc. And I was keen on that because I want to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. but, well, boy, the man started moving me, I said, Boy, you're not going to be in a jacket now, you feel too big. You know? And thing. And when you look on the jacket, you know, most of the jacket, they have, have small foot. I don't know about Mitchell, right? But if I have any idea that foot could have sweat, I would have sweat mine. <laughs> anyway, I have no regrets. Yeah. For what? Where I am at this point in time. But, but before we go any further, yeah. um, what age are we talking about and what period? I, 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 in the 70s. Mm -hmm. The 70s that we, when I, I was in my team. Because I had to choose a, a career because my mother had migrated and my father, I wouldn't get the support. So I have to, you know what I mean? I, and go at something that I like. At about age, I'm 16, yeah, very easily. Then um, life for you. Came as a as a assistant, the late Tayo life of you, yeah, and he was like a, a father, learning the business and things. So I made up my mind, say grooming is a thing now, because that's a deal now to overcome. Courtney Brown and a few guys, er, Errol McFarlane was the, was this rider that as a apprentice, but um, one of the answers is to take care of too. Um, he was a pony, they call him Stetson. That is the ass that Michael Lee learned to, to, to balance himself. Then um, Mars Charles, an ass by the name of Zeus, the Michael Lee you see in the state, who is you now retired. Okay? It wasn't going my way as a rider, so I started to, to rub out because as he we give the asses. So I tell you, my first ass that I, uh, um, I started to groom now was asked by the name of War and Peace. Mm -hmm. And it's the same Dave Natova as my apprentice brother. Won a race. The, f the first race and that was the only race that I asked one. As a lead time now, he, he decided to migrate to the States. So Tayo was at the end now, took over the, um, the stable. 
Because Tayo did start off overlook a band, but as he leave a lot of the asses and the owners them come over, so we start, yeah. We're talking about commitment, you know, and dedication, and that made me where I am today. Right. So I dedicate myself and start to, and tell you the man that he taught me a lot of things. So you came down, you wanted to ride, yeah. started the process, but you never no, finished? No, never finished it. You went into grooming? I went into grooming. How many trainers you would have worked with as a go? <laughs> well, firstly, when did you get your license? My first license, it, it, it was, it, um, I, I don't remember the, the specific year, right? 1978, somewhere there about, mm -hmm. right? 77, 78. It was life or you who gave me my first. Mm -hmm. The first license that I, I started off with was an apprentice groom license in those era, in those times. Because you have to have a badge. Mm -hmm. you, you understand me? Yeah. So my first groom license was it life of you. And the first ask, we asked them, war and, war, war and peace. By war and relic, out of a mere idea of caprice. You know, my statistician, you know. I remember that, you know, the breeding of the horse. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? As the wrong some owner. I got back on the house had the same connection, but asked by the name of Jet Face. Uh, Ian, uh, Jet Crusader, out of a mere name, Angel Face. She was a crazy horse. But I take time out. We even put a mirror in the stall. Because she was loco. She was crazy. And when you say crazy, tell me some more about that craziness. What would the, she do? The, the temperament. Mm -hmm. Her temperament, she never stopped. She's she mad for the lick you don't know, she, she, she wet, sweat up a lot. Okay. You know, so energized and her eyes are white, uh, super strong. Typical Jamaican people say white eyes, ass, always, whatever, of them temperament. Anyway. So you put the mirror in? It, that, that's the keeper, she look at herself and the keeper calm, calm at okay. times. She used to have early speed. Go at six length and, and come back. Because she used to burn up, use a lot of energy. So Tayo said to me, can the man. We're going to send this ass down by the beach, you know, and we're going to try something. The training method, something totally different. Send it down by to um, Keith Murray. So he started to use now swimming and walking as part of the training process. Mm -hmm. Okay? Transform. Becomes a total different ass. No longer a sprinter. No, it's not a sprinter. They start to hold the girl up okay. now. We're we about four races with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Who would have been your first winner as a groom? It's the same War and Peace. Same War and Peace. War and Peace, yeah. Yeah. Also, um, the, and the third ass was asked by them, a first trial. Mm -hmm. First trial, I was asked by, by um, Clifton Wright, by, by Bilbo Jungle, out of a meal by the name of Carrigo, mm -hmm. owned by the late uh, um, Clifton Wright. How many races do you think you would have won for that, for that trainer? Uh, you mean Tayo? Yeah, as a groom. As a groom, I, I think I win about um, 15 races. My trainer finished him training career. I, he got five years and he never came back. Same time, Michael Leo um, got licensed. Trainer Michael Leo. So I started now with, with, um, with Michael Leo. And we did well because I was the one at the helm with the horses at the seaside. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I specialize in tendon, joint, etc. He was even asked by the name of Fortitude. Mm -hmm. That Elvis Murray one and at about 50 to 1 one day. I used to take out fortitude, put on some um, gel, and because he had a shoulder, he has a knee. Okay? I anchor him out, now this is a time up. After I finish eating and thing, yeah? And get him some. That was also owned by a man by the name of Milton Verley. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And he was so appreciative after I sent up the ass. Because I used to drag him on the beach up and down and get him swim. A guy named Sword Bird used to swim him. I will get the job done. And them time there, you know, that man owned a gave a thousand dollars. A lot of money. Yeah, a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And if that man alive, I'm just rest in peace, bro. I'll stay strong. Oh, so appreciative. He was so appreciative. How many, how many races do you think you won with, with Michael Leo? Um, with Michael Leo? Well, um, one ass kisses cat. Uh, I win about six races with that ass. Uh, uh, I think I win about um, 20. I saw with Michael Leo. He was a good conditioner because he learned it from mm -hmm. Tayo. I worked with Michael Silver from 92 back till 
Let's spend about eight years mm -hmm. in my culture here, but it, the band was on the decline. So uh, uh, I need to have a, a taste, a, a classic aspirant. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, when I have a few local state races, ordinary horses, mm -hmm. uh, a certain, say, you know, I want a job with no oil anymore because I have that man as a master conditioner. Right. Quiet, discipline. I like to work with those kind of people. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And um, after a oh, while, I, I, I spoke to him and said, Anytime, can the man, I would love to have a room like you. So, um, Owen oh, Phillips died. So, anyway, he said, After the funeral, they asked him to come up by me. So, I started off when they asked them went over by him. I started off with um, Princess Goodhart. Uh, a filly by the name of Altos, who was a mediocre foreign house, a crazy house. Uh, uh, um, the, the rise to the occasion, trophy with um, Princess Gouda. The first that I had under his barn, I won second, that specific house. And the second one, I won. Mm -hmm. The rise to the occasion, um, trophy. He um, bought a house from, from Sir Philip, from Fiani. That one of my, my favorite house, but my main classic aspirant. I'll ask by the name of Allied Force. When I look at him, he look hard there, but when you look at his neck, at the legs, you can see premature, in, I mean, immaturity, you know? The, the, um, the hoofs at that time, like he was about size four, was small. But when you look at the coronary band, and you look at him, you know, growth, and I watch that horse. He was also, um, what do you say, immaturity. He threw all around the back end, because I, I used to get on top of him. I used to wobble, and I remember seeing Michael Silvera because I did have asked to say Silvera and I tell him that the ass feel weak on the back. And I said, Candy man, you don't worry. He's in maturity. The, uh, as time goes on, they'll get stronger. Mm -hmm. And it, it manifests. All I first end up starting about size seven. Can get stronger and mm -hmm. whatever. Um, well, his first start, he won on the first start. A seven and a half furlong. First two races. That even Tony McClapman friend said, but you know on the time and the uh, that he was uh, 137. But but when you, you look at a, a, a three year old and debut, win seven and a half furlong, comfortable, you know say he or she has some, some scope. Mm -hmm. Okay? And we go from there around second in the in the Guinness. That uh, same I see him so feel I said, can the man? Why did you never put the ass and lay sick? We have one the Guinness, oh, one page, it was oh, one page. Mm -hmm. Come eyeball, one page, you know. Yeah, Kenyatta Davis, I think, win the first um, three races under the task. Eyeball, one page, but he let go because he bled. Mm -hmm. He was built through him, but horsemanship internal, yeah. Right. Put him on LASIK. Governor's Cup. Molly is supposed to ride the ass. As a man, I know he has. And he, 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 he ride a claiming ass that day. There was a spill, get hurt, so we use Percy Williams as a substitute. Is the governor's cup? Mm -hmm. And you know, Percy is, is a pace man, he's an infant man. Allied Force is a one kick horse. Mm -hmm. He has one kick. Mm -hmm. When he boil up in a race, you just leave him alone. And when he's ready, that's it. But you know, by a six furlong, Percy put him through. He beat Ransom man. Who was a derby winner that year? So we sat down the trainer, the late Donald Williams was the owner. The late great Donald Williams. We sat down, there was a discussion, we were gonna go about we were gonna go about um the St. Leisure. Mm -hmm. You know all I first got 113. The first six furlong gallop and now the eight year work now gallop. He said to Paul Francis that he, 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 he won 117. I said to Paul Francis, he said, Jackie, let your ass work. Let him enjoy himself because he need work. And he don't, he, he's a ranger guy and don't leave food. He came up in 115. 115. <laughs> he said, he never get mad. I went and meet the rider went on the back stretch. You know? And Paul never know if he declare himself. But why is the groom tell me if he do it, you know? Well, you know, we bounce back and beat Ransom Man. Comfortable. Yeah? And we have some more victories, some nice steak races and things. Well, the athlete, the giant, them started to um, grow and, you know, we are preparing for the super steak that year. And, yeah, it went sore. 
So we would have to turn him out for some months down by the farm, they give him a little blister and turn him out and take him in back. And so, yeah. uh, so when some good years are done, uh, Philip, by the name of Wright Marker, you know, we're in some nice safe places at ours. And even Princess Gouda's daughter was asked by the name of Her Royal Highness. You know, I think I win about eight races with that filly. She was a very nice filly. She chose to have some good offspring here. You know what I mean? Yeah. How many races do you think you have won so far as a groom? As a groom? It's near 100. Near 100? Yeah. Yeah. But, um,. I also got some, some, some exposure abroad, and it was a learning process for me. Where abroad did you? Uh, in, in, in Gold Street. It taught me, that look at exposure, taught me horsemanship. Learn to bandage horses in the right format. The thing is to peel legs. I even use it and utilize on some horses out here, like um, a filet that I, I, I used to have uh, done with it. Right? Um, I can't, I can't remember that, 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 that filly there. Uh, uh, Darkins won one thing on her, her American filly. Elis Elo. Elis Elo. Uh, she came down, but she, when she, came, she had a bulb on the tendon. And I said, sure, I do like how this bulb looking. You know. So I think we have pin fire, freeze fire. Uh, 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 and I look at it, and the vet said, why don't you shovel your man, don't shovel it? I was in training, and she beat it down. But when I look at the breeding, Cantarus and, and also on the dam line, it will reach. And I said, no boy, I, I will do some work on this I said, you know. I said, I, I sat down with Gary and I said, Gary, I, I go and get the heat out of this area. So I start to hide his and get the heat out of the eligible now for the pin fire. The pin fire the tendon. Okay? And give it time when it dry. The same method that I will learn in the States, I come and utilize it. And the rest is history. Use um, a bar solution, paint, cheat it and cheat it off. This start to work, and during that period of time, I ice every day. All them do it in the state. I use some time I use the hose, poultice, mix the bar solution with the poultice, tighten, and suck. That acid bow, Matt Norton, big bow tendon. You can ask all of my co workers, them all people who have heard, that figure a bush man. We now six straight Elise How long did you spend in at Gulf Street? Four months, three months and back and I never I, 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 I never really Stay in a full long Yeah, 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 yeah. Just with regular, regular visits. Visit, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a good learning process where I learned horsemanship. And also bought a few things. Like, you know, sometimes, you know, so you go to them do some crazy thing. Or something you use on the giant and the tendon, you have the scruff and thing. I think we used to use them, scruff, um, cross zapper, K-R-U-Z-Z, Z-A-P-P-E-R, cross zapper. And a lot of those things. And I see a lot of trainers using it now. There are also, in the dark days, you know, when I have cutting of them out, and anything, we just use salt and anything. There's a specific thing by the name of Oralene. Right? Anyway, it, it have a little um, thing there uh, on it, like uh, I think you, you, you're stretching at the mouth. Anyway, they cut there. And it's sweet, so they ask them to enjoy it. When you either use the salt and, and then feel like a discomfort and uh, I go on, when them taste the oral in. And that, two use of it, the healing process. So, you know, Mr. Man, I can tell you, I enjoy, I enjoy my job as a groom, as a groom you. perspective. And but you take, you got to take pride in the job, you take commitment, you take dedication. Last year I had the, the worst year in my career. But I have to go with the flow. Because I, I feel my ass and I down. And the three of them are ready yet. And the old boy, I'm having a issue with crimson. But he's an earner. When you give thanks, but I'll be back. I'll be back because the three of them started to tour. When you left, yeah. trainer anyway, mm -hmm. where did you? Oh, oh, we, we, we just get it here now. I, 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 I should um, state it in that format. We I leave um, Enneva, because Mr. Enneva did get um, that little stroke and what have you. I never really ready for left him, but, you know, complication, he got to go. You know what I'm saying? I sat and said, who am I going to work with? I'm selective, you know, who am I going to work with? You know? I said, I train that he's doing well, you know, give us a bright, you know. He's a master conditioner, you know, so. I said, give me a woman, you're working, man. 
Oh, oh. Can the ball be awesome, man? Yeah, man. Um, I don't know if I have any assist, but check step light. Is this the assistant? Yeah. yeah. Check step light and so come in tomorrow and start off with a one hour. Um, so, when uh, was that when you went to join um, Gary? Gary? Mm -hmm. um, I think it was about 2014. Okay. 2014. I'm still with him. Right. A lot of success. Uh, simply the best. That was that uh, is called uh, this tall. As you see, uh, they, they, they're playing. She, she, she was crazy. They had her around the back, around here. She wanted to kill herself. She couldn't keep her no back shoe. So we have to ply out this style of crimson in right now to facilitate her. Mm -hmm. Okay? We could have a tire up. Have a gear in it and just catch a rope. And when she pulled back, she started to eat. Sometimes you come see her and pull down. Because we can deal with her next ass. Okay? And she take her time and circle down. You couldn't put simply the best even on the ram. What is a baby ram? And she just calm right down. I saw so overall, team. about how many, how many winners you would have gone? In, in this band? No, this man, overall, from, from the started yeah. grooming. Yeah, 100. Yeah, during, you know, during the, the, the early time, I did specialize in horses like, like paraplegic. Go and prove yourself. A lot of attendant. I've done well with a lot of attendant horses back in the 80s. But now the first day, man, you know, you want to have a classic aspirant, right. and then them something they say, oh, you want to go in a barn, you know, so you, you, you spread out. Right. So how many horses do you look after now? At this point, I have four horses. Crimson? Crimson, and um, I have an American filly um, that Mr. Um, I think that filly have a lot of scope, you know. She's a four-year-old. What's the that name? Do, that do, uh, Our breeding. Our breeding, uh, um, Malibu Moon. She's by Malibu Moon. I don't remember the dam, but the line is good. And I expect a lot of things from that feeling. So I put in the work. I think she will run about next month and so on. Bella Crew, um, Bella Soul is a nice feeling. I feel a lot of scope. But she got some little setback the other day. We're back to the joint board. And I have this full brother to calculus um, money box. Um, I think that us, um, is immature, is a mere fool in just getting stronger around the, 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 the backside and things. I'm looking for good things for that cult in future. So, you know, with a break winning, but I think, you know, I have, some, uh, I have the capabilities that um, going forward, we win some race further down this year. I had a rough year, year before last. I think I should win the derby with uh, that Philly there, another affair. You know, I never like the ride, I, I don't know the in, uh, instructions or whatsoever, because we have three horses in the race, you know. That us get beaten in the Oaks and in, um, in, 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 in the Guinness from ours. Above and beyond, mm -hmm. yeah, that, 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 I, I expect a lot from that field, but they don't give thanks in about five races with uh, but on a classic basic, you know. Yeah, the place, uh, all of the classic there, man, you know. I want to take time out, you know what I mean, as a part of appreciation, as part of the, of the groom's fraternity, Mr. Carlton Watson, during the pandemic, he reaches out and plays a role. And the thing that he does, that is not his barn alone. A lot of us benefited. That big truck parked down there and everybody was in them bag with them, little goodies. In a mighty long time, I haven't seen an owner do that at Caymanas Park. Big up yourself, Mr. Carlton Watson. I mean, success, success be the trend going forward to you, your old entire barn, your family, etc., etc. And all the owners out there who stood by them grooms, the same thing go, goes for your Jenko people. Also, I got to take time out to all the owners. It's not about hands out, people who own horses, who create employment for us worse during this time a lot of you guys stuck with us during the pandemic you never turn out the horses we, we, we take a little cut and what, what whatever mm -hmm. so that is it the next thing i know is is, is um going forward the, the, the recent fraternity right about you now there are a lot of things to be done the process is slow because you can see the the, 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 the road you know what i mean the, the the facility that we work in yeah, or, or soon, you know, we get Kim and Aspar up and running again. You know, a lot of indiscipline down here. We, we, we want to get back the truck. 
in the in, in the right the right format and see what goes. Since you have been here, who would you say is the best horse you would have groomed? I was Allied Force, you know. Allied Force. Allied Force, man. Mm -hmm. Two fine fillies, Illis Yelo. I did well with awesome destiny. She was awesome. I used that filly there and lit down the big boys by um, Pearson, you know. Willing charge, you know. <laughs> you know? We are good and, and thanks to that owner too. All right, so you spoke about the best one you would have groomed. What about the best you would have seen run here? Legal light. One thing I hope for is for the breeding industry at this point in time. You know, it needs help. Some of the owners, if you take time out, they're running the mirror and tell them to hold to. You know what I mean? So, you know, get the, the, the progeny, them, the, a lot of them, really, you know what I mean, perform. Mm -hmm. You know, nutrition is the next thing again. When a man gets a man to ask, nutrient is a key thing. And even when the guys go on the farm, because remember, you know, the mirror are the same thing, they, 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 they fall, I got benefited from. Mm -hmm. Because when we used to have, um, when oats, they cheaper than pellets, you know, back in the 70s, you know, when I was here, you know. Okay? And corn, right? We used to, me as a boy, you know, as a little bit of a linseed, on a Saturday, maybe on a Thursday. Mm -hmm. Okay? And the, 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 the English blood, blood stock, this strong in Jamaica, we have the Sing Sing, one of the big breeding sprinter in America, that Hillsdown father. Zalukos is one of the best Italian I think this island has ever seen. If you put him to a donkey, him to a race ass. Jackets that you have seen. I used, to, I used to call myself Winston Griffiths, you know. <laughs> I used to bend up my foot and walk. Them call me fan of you, in case you never okay, know that. So I even, saw, even saw Mikey Lowe call me, you know, WG, you know. Right? Okay. When you talk about discipline, he's one of the most disciplined riders I've ever seen on the track from my sibling days till now. And coming from a man as you, like you, who is so disciplined? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, can, I can be a little boisterous <laughs> at times, you know. But joke, but, but, but yeah. I, mm -hmm. I don't disrespect people or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, Mo love mouth and you want to joke and thing. Yeah, but certain standard, you don't live. Ellis, Prince and Ellis, mm -hmm. yeah. Emilio Bimbo, oh, you're talking about credibility? Is the first jockey locally when he come back. No cure the, I remember that finish. Oh, it was a racket. Seven, you don't go to America Cure yet. That, 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 that the race was on the race book for about 15 years. Rose of Rocket, October Hill, Becky T. Uh, too soon, about eight hours across the line. Number four, I'm carry Rose of Rocket. I'm a statistician to win. Yeah? And when everybody come, someone has said, Why am I? And one man, Emilio Rodriguez, was like this. You know what I'm saying? Rose of Rocket. Yeah. And the man come back again. Miracle cure. But, but you never have that amount of horses. But the, the, the competitiveness and the finish, oh, it was great. It was excellent. And um, what about trainers? Trainers? The late Alan E. Williams was trained. A lot of classic aspirant. You know, soft spoken, discipline, E. Williams. And you know, Mattis take a page out of time book. You know, right? Mr. Enneva is a good condition. He never have a certain caliber ass about the couple that he has. You know what I mean? Mr. the late, great party, Wayne DeCosta. When it comes to business, that man takes risk for a business. So, man, you may say miserable on it and then strict on it, but you're doing business. Yeah? Because you, you, you want one of them to achieve, to, to have your band up and running. Yeah? Great ass man. Great, great ass man. On that happy note, we want to thank you, Wilbur Force, it's a Candy Man. It's a, it's a pleasure, man. Anytime, man. Anytime, you know? Yeah, man. And we wish you all the best going forward. And you too, man. We continue to interview the guys and highlight a lot of us, you know, publicize us. You're doing a good job, and I hope you continue in this format. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm there for the crew, thanks. Uh, you're, well, you're most welcome. Okay. Thank you for watching another video produced by the team from quickgallop.com, YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper.
Please stay on the channel for more enlightening videos on those involved in local horse racing. Please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell.